switching from Android to iPhone, worried about transferring your photos, contacts and data, don't stress, we have got you covered. In this video, we will walk you through three easy methods to seamlessly transfer everything you need from Android to iPhone or iPhone, Android or Android to Android in 2025. Whether it's your favorite family photos, important documents or app data, moving to a new device can feel overwhelming but with the right tools, it's easier than ever. So without wasting any time, let's dive in. What's up guys, this is Mehran and the first method which I will definitely recommend to everyone is using the doctor phone, phone transfer. If you are transferring from Android to iPhone or iPhone to iPhone or iPhone to Android, the doctor phone can help you to transfer every single byte from your current device to the new device. As it's totally compatible with the iOS 18 and the new Android version and you can use doctor phone transfer data between Android devices and iOS devices. So first of all, all you have to download your desired version from its official site which I have given down below in the description. After downloading, install the doctor phone at your desktop or Mac and then just simply run it. Now you can see a very friendly interface of the doctor phone application. We have got a lot of features on a single page such as you can import and export data to your iOS and Android phone and the best thing is that if you have data at your new device, you don't need to reset it. But instead of that, from your old device, you can transfer it into a new device without doing anything with your new one. And that's the beauty of using the doctor phone application. Screen unlocking tool, WhatsApp transferring, changing location, all features have been given on a single page. It's obviously all in one tool for Android and iPhone users. So I'm clicking on a toolbox on the left corner and here you will see phone transfer. Just click on it and then you will be required to connect your devices to the desktop. Once you connect your Android and iOS phone, you will be required to enable USB debugging and turn on install new USB option on your Android device. The instructions is already given on the app as you can see, but you can find USB debugging by searching in the search bar inside the settings. If you didn't find that, then you will have to enable developer mode and all that stuff. But anyway, the instructions will be given inside the application as you can see like that. Just follow that and then you will be able to enable USB debugging. So once you are done with that, the source phone would be your current device and your target phone should be your new device. You can switch that from the app as you can see we have a flip option. So this is all the data which we have got on the Android phone. There are thousands of photos and a lot of data. I will select all of them because I want to see how will it transfer and how much time will it take and then click on start transfer. Make sure message option is turned off on the iCloud on your iOS device as just like that. You can find that feature on the iOS setting. Now once you are done with that, sit tight and let the doctor phone do the rest for you. First of all, it will analyze all your data and then will be transferring it to your new device. If the size of your data is in GBs just like mine, then it might take a bit time so please be patient. As you can see the transfer is in process and that's it, the data transfer is completed from Android to iPhone and now it's time to check what we have got on our iOS side. And okay, as you can see, we have got every single byte from Android to iPhone, including photos and videos. Contacts has also successfully transferred from Android to iPhone by using the doctor phone application. I might blur some of the data for privacy reason, as you all know that. Other than that, I can definitely see the photos, videos and other data is completely transferred. So by using Dr. Phone Wondershare application, you can do the same without resetting any of the device and without having any technical knowledge. Anyone can do that at their home without having any hassle. You can download this app from the given link. Just go to their website and download Wondershare Dr. Phone application. Now let's jump to another method. So this is the second method we will be using Move to iOS application to transfer data from Android to iPhone. Now the first thing which I might not like about this method is that you will have to reset your iPhone. While on the first method, we wasn't required to do that, but here you have to do that. But anyway, once you reset your iOS device, now download Move to iOS application on your Android device. You can find that on Play Store. After downloading, open Move to iOS app and you need to come into this page. After that, start setting your iPhone and once you reach at this point, you can see some 
features like if you want to transfer data from android to iphone select this option but if you are transferring from android to ios then just click on it now you will get a code which you need to enter into an android device on your iphone once you enter that code on your android side you will see an option of all your data which you want to transfer so select all of them whatever you want to transfer from android to iphone you can also add other files if you didn't find option of fewer choice you can add them from here to transfer once you select all of them now let's go ahead you can see the transferring data is in process on both devices once the transfer is completed set up your iphone and now you will be able to see all the data on your ios device which you have transferred from Android. You can see photos and videos has successfully transferred along with that contacts and all Android app which I transfer is also here. Now you just need to download it on your iOS device. But keep in mind for this method you will be required to reset your new iPhone and you might not be able to transfer every single byte from Android to iPhone. So because of that I will prefer the first method by using the doctor phone application. Now let's jump to the third method so keep in mind this method only work if you are transferring from Android to Android. As you will be using Google Drive method, it's very simple but you can transfer a very limited data. So first of all, go to your Android device, go to settings and then you will see a backup option. So click on it, it will require to enter your email account where you will be uploading all of your data from your Android device. As you can see, we have a limit of 15 gigabytes. So just type your email and then click on backup now. So all your data will be uploaded. To Google Drive and then you will be required to log in the same email into a new Android device you would be able to import all the data from Google Drive into your new Android device but I will mention again you might not be able to transfer every single byte and to be very honest it's a time-consuming and a very technical method so I will not recommend this one. instead of this one and the second one the easiest method which I have found so far as using Dr. Phone which can easily do that. As you saw in this video, that was one of the simplest methods to transfer data between Android and iPhone. Okay guys, so that's it. These were the three methods in 2025 by which you can transfer data from Android to iPhone, iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone. Let me know if you guys have got any question regarding this. Let me know if you guys have got any question regarding this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.